your company has a, a new test uh, for Lyme disease. Can you talk about um, why that's important and how it's different from what's been the conventional testing method? Sure. The neuroscience company is now offering the iSpot Lyme test. The iSpot Lyme test is a test that was designed and created by our Pharmazon Labs a partner. The researchers at Pharmazon have taken the Immunospot technology, which is currently right now an FDA approved test for tuberculosis, and they've tweaked it. They've added the antigenic material of Borrelia burgdorferi into that methodology. And now we have what is called the iSpot Lyme test. iSpot Lyme test is the first of its kind. It's a cellular immune based test for Lyme disease. It measures T lymphocyte activity to the Borrelia burgdorferi antigens. Can you explain how that's different from what we've, I guess, what's been the common uh, Lyme disease test and, and why the difference is, is beneficial or maybe beneficial mm -hmm. for people? Well, historically, most doctors have been using the CDC approved Western blot tests. The Western blot test evaluates the antibody response to Borrelia burgdorferi. It's an antibody signature, which means it's a humoral immune response. This is a test that has been around for a long time. It's been reported to have a sensitivity between 30 and 50 percent. It's highly specific, but it has a 30 to 50 percent, 30 to 50 percent specificity. The iSpot Lyme test offers a different approach. It's looking at a cellular immune response. So one step before the antibodies are created, your T cells are activated. So the T cells, when they're activated, then creates both a innate and adaptive immune response. The adaptive immune response is the hemoral reaction. The innate immune response is more of a cellular immune uh, upregulation. What the T cells also do is create memory T cells. So you have active T cells and you have memory T cells being created. One of the main benefits of the iSpot Lyme test is that instead of a 30 to 50 percent specificity like Western blot, it has a 84 percent specificity to the, Borrelia, uh, to the Borrelia burgdorferi infection. And that is providing a hope for many patients out there to finally get a better diagnosis to what is actually ailing them. And if we get that better diagnosis, how beneficial is that to, to, to know with more certainty exactly what the problem is and, and how can that help treatments down the road? It's going to, the iSpot Lyme test offers a pretty much a revolutionary way that doctors can evaluate Lyme disease. When a doctor is confident that a patient has Lyme disease, they will be able to aggressively treat them with antibiotics and other co-therapies that can target Borrelia burgdorferi. In addition to that, it could also, because of its high sensitivity and specificity, eliminate the diagnosis of Lyme disease in other patients so that doctors aren't wasting the patient's time or possibly causing harm in them by treating them for the wrong disease. In addition to that, I spot Lyme test because it's measuring a T lymphocyte activity can be used to monitor the effectiveness of a treatment. So if a patient tests positive, then they can be tested in six weeks to eight weeks later after therapy to see if the number of T cells responding to Borrelia burgdorferi have decreased in activity. And that helps the doctor identify length and success of a treatment.